Okay, um, this Allen key size to open this little screw here, this size is 0 0.9 mm, okay? Insert and slowly, it's, this, this screw is not tight, so just your finger strength is more than enough to remove it, okay? It's very small, don't lose it. One trick, if you're scared losing small items, put some grease here, okay? And stick it there. That's it, okay? Remove this, this adapter here. And then, this is a size one Philip. Okay, see? You zoom in. You zoom in the screw here. See? It doesn't move. It's not shaky. This is the correct size to remove them. Turn it. Turn it. Okay. Try to have a discipline to keep to to use this tweezer as your finger. Okay. So remove them. If you scared that you get lost, just arrange them by sequence. But for me, I'll just do a very simple, a quick one. Okay. And then this is a size twelve uh, spanner. Okay. Remember now the new design. It's a uh, clockwise to loosen okay clockwise to loosen see clockwise loosen and then slowly remove it remove your nut this nut ah uh, this nut okay not the nut below okay then now you see you can see that this is the anti reverse Okay, this is the bushing. They, there's a gap and there's a o there's a o-ring below. Okay. Uh one more thing. Guys, if you want to explore, explore at your own risk. Okay, I'm teaching you a, a, a basic way of opening the 2014 Stella. I won't teach you how to open up everything to details, okay? So I will just use the tweezer and remove this washer washer plate. Okay, this little washer. And next the anti-reverse. Okay, the anti-reverse is retained by one, two, three black screw. Okay, you only touch the black screw. And there we go, you remove the whole anti reverse. Okay, make sure things drop out, you know where it comes from. Ah. Remove the anti reverse, of course, there's anti reverse bushing here inside. So remember to take them out, put one side. Okay, and now you can see that there's this retaining o ring. Okay, this is for the bill arm. The slot here allows this bill arm this spring bar to sit inside okay what does it do it's actually just creating some friction to make you realize that your bill is not closed okay but end of the day there's this teflon that will trigger the bill to close back okay thing will go up the thing will turn you trigger this part you push back okay and you close the bill this is the trigger Okay, so I remove the O-ring. Okay. And then people ask how to remove this bug cap. Okay. I've seen many many people breaking this bug cap or they actually broke the screw track. This this bug cap here is actually a plastic bug cap. It's not metal. <laughs> Okay, so what you need, remove, there's a little start, after you remove this already, there's a little start just at the angle of this real foot. Use a tweezer or a needle or something sharp, poke inside, 
and then remove it see it's very small oops it's very small put it one side and again if you're scared that it's missing please kindly stick it on a breeze okay and it doesn't move anywhere next there's these two there's two screw retaining this plastic okay you need to remove the white outside first with a minus screw see one again once again you see okay i'm tightening back you see my screw it doesn't move okay the screw thread doesn't move it oh, fits in good. nicely remove it use the tweezer rip out the screw put it one side and now okay how do we remove this part with this long uh, I would say long nose or long shaft uh, this is a Phillips screw okay see it goes right in okay there's a screw parallel okay horizontally okay parallel and vertically parallel so you need to slowly align align and you try to twist and turn a bit okay if you find that it's sitting on something that it doesn't it's like it feels like a screw to you so push it okay push it hold the screwdriver hold the screwdriver with a little bit of pressure and if I do this you all can't see I'll do this it'll be very obvious okay I'll turn and you see that the buck cap will slowly lift up one see yeah. two three it lifts up okay how did it happen it's actually just simple physics ah. how did it happen just me because I used the screw thread to push the part of this butt cap up instead of me unwinding this way and let the screw drop inside okay you might not know shit may happen if the screw drop inside and you accidentally turn the pinion gear I tell you if the screw get caught in between the gears that's it man I'm sorry okay so I'd rather you do that, face it up, and then just turn, okay? The screw will not drop down because there's one retaining Teflon, right? A very thin Teflon that is retaining this screw. See, it's, it's not dropping up, preventing the screw from dropping up. But if you unwind the screw, it's definitely going to disengage the Teflon, and it's going to drop out, okay? I hope you understand my English, huh? or what I'm trying to tell you. Next, there's this so-called uh, screw cover. It's just a plastic Teflon, a black Teflon uh, that actually makes the, the body of this part that look that actually flush along and to let this rubber to sit nicely on it. So, there's nothing. Just use your screwdriver or tweezer to just peel it a little bit and remove it. Okay? It's just this thing here. Okay, finally, the whole side plate is retained by one, two, three, three screw. Okay, and again, please use a proper screwdriver. Okay, <laughs> don't burn the screw. Okay, I'm gonna open up. I'm not gonna remove the pin and gear because this is, I'm just gonna teach you a very quick basic of uh, opening up this style because there's no oil pot for this wheel okay there's no open for this wheel and the reason why Shimano designed it this way it's because they so-called designed to be water proving so if they have an oil pot which means air might go in and okay or people might lost a cap or whatever so you know they they are just designed don't let you open so easily also to, also because that they don't allow the water to seep in properly I mean uh, easily sorry okay now I'm gonna open up three screw one two 
three. Tweezer, remove the screw. And now, remove the side plate. There you go, okay? Your main gear and pinion gear is exposed. So, I'm gonna put the side plate one side first. Remove, and there it goes. Okay, this is our drive gear. This is the Hagane, so-called Hagane gear. This is a stand mount gear. It's not, it's not, uh, it's partially machine cut, but it's stem out, then after they went to CNC and then they actually cut it out, cut the teeth out, okay? Alright, uh, okay. Here, this is the so-called micro module. And this is the worm shaft that pushes your spool up and down. See that? Why Shimano line link? Why Shimano's uh, line link on the screw is so nice is because of this worm shaft. Okay, and the whole shaft itself, the whole shaft itself, it's only retained by a catapult, a cat paw. We call a cat we some call a catapult pin or some call a cat paw. Okay, the paw itself, not cat paw, but it's a paw itself that is sitting on the worm shaft that is retaining the whole shaft with the screw itself okay and my last advice please um, don't screw your wheel up okay uh, good and bad la. I mean I promise you all I made a video so I made a video I'm gonna teach you until here I'm not gonna remove anything further that's the deepest for any guys that want to try you all can this is the deepest you can go okay just kindly grease it up okay grease it up how much to grease okay i don't know what grease you are using okay i'm using my own grease now it took me about five years to develop to really develop this thing up okay y'all can say anything you want but to each its own okay yeah it's, i mean it's your own option uh Sorry, just now that comment ah, uh, it's so called my layman term. General, you know, uh, just random quote only. Okay, how much to put? Now this I'm going to show you. Where's my brush? Okay, tap tap. This about this amount is about one droplet of water. Wait 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 wait. Focus it. Focus it. Okay, got it. It's almost it's about almost one drop of water. That's all you need. Or maybe even lesser. Okay? I'm just gonna tap. 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 Okay. That's all. This is the amount that you that's all you need. And trust me. You have to trust me really. This is my own grease. I know how it can react to your wheel. This is the amount that you need. Okay? And it will be more it's more than enough to actually smoothen out the whole gear. You actually make your wheel smoother, lesser vibration. If you I mean as in for example worn out gear, worn out wheels you have, have you give I mean make it less uh, vibration. But for brand new, of course, it will last you longer. It makes your real lifespan, especially the gear, to have a good, I mean, for a longer lifespan. Now. Okay. And that's all you need for the gear. For this 20 gram tub and a 2005 size real gear this size versus this 20 gram tub, I think you can use at least up to 50 wheels. Okay, 50 wheels, you know, or maybe even more because this is the amount that you need. That's all, nothing much. And this is $68 for 50 wheels or even more. I think it's worth it. Okay, so just gonna put it back. And please, the next thing when you put it back, be gentle. 
make sure that if it doesn't goes in just shake a bit and slowly pressure in don't use force and like play lego and then just press it and you hear the pyak sound if you're lucky it sits inside the gear sits inside in between each other nicely but if you're unlucky and you use force it's going to hit the tip against the tip you're going to burn one of the gear tooth and that's it okay i tell you that's it Okay, before I end this video, that's all I'm gonna do. For the assembly, you guys are gonna try. Okay? Uh, this is the last thing I wanna emphasize. Guys, the gear itself here only the gear only gives you one chance. Because it's aluminium. It's soft. Even though the brass is still soft. Okay? So if you're going to misalign the gear or you're gonna I don't know. I don't know how you're gonna handle it. If you mishandle it, the gear will become rough. And that's when people told me, say, "Hey, I only service once time. Uh, I only service once. Uh, I only open up and pull back. Yes, you only open up and pull back. But the gear itself has alignment. Okay. If you don't know how to, if you are not sure and you scared that your gear once you open up, then once you fix back, you become rough. Rough, ah." Uh, rough in the meaning of a lot of vibration from the gear and not the kind of rough from the bearing itself okay and i'm going to tell you highly high chances or very high possibility your gear is screwed and you have to change new gear okay the, this this opening up of reel and the gear thing only give you one chance okay so uh, that's what i'm going to emphasize if I missed out anything or I have uh, mentioned anything sensitive uh, that you don't feel pleasant about, uh, don't feel pleasant about it, I apologize because I'm just being myself and I just say what is the best for you when you open up your room. That's it. Okay. Uh, if you have any inquiry, please kindly drop me a PM. I will reply you when I'm free. Okay, I'll reply you when I'm free. Uh, maybe next one I will do a Chinese version. So that's all for now, folks. Thank you. I'm very tired. I want to go back and sleep. <laughs>